Hey brother, I'm Stuart Matola, men's relationship coach. Hope you're having a kick-ass day. I help men get unstuck in their relationship to go after what they want with their partner. And we're gonna be talking today on this video about the number one thing she wants from you and how to give it to her. And I'm gonna give you a tool here that's gonna help you with that. It's gonna be counterintuitive because I'm gonna show you how typically you try to do it in a way where you shoot yourself in the foot. So if you dig this content, please give me a thumbs up or comment below or subscribe to my YouTube channel to the lower right. Now there are actually three things that I've typically seen and have been identified in studies uh, that women want from men. And that's, she wants to be cherished, she wants to be loved. And this third thing is what I believe to be the most important. She wants to feel safe. Because if she doesn't feel safe, she's not gonna be fully open to be loved and cherished. So typically, the way a guy tries to make his partner safe, and I see this a lot in my practice with many guys I work with, is they go to the pleaser, the fixer. So what they're ultimately doing here is they're trying to get safe by making her safe. Okay, So if she's safe, I can be safe. Now, the problem with that strategy is you're putting your safety onto her. It's uh, not solid ground, not solid footing. It's a very precarious place for a guy to be. He feels it in his nervous system and she feels a lack of safety with him doing that. So instead, what I wanna do is to coach you like I did with a client of mine recently who was button heads with his wife on every little thing. And the reason being is because they didn't feel safe with each other. As I coached him to take self-responsibility for his own safety. So that meant in an interaction, he was saying to himself, make myself safe. I gotta make myself safe. I gotta make myself safe. And he did this in three different ways. He did it by creating a boundary. When things got heated, he asked for a pause. Second way he did it is when he felt like he needed some space in the relationship, he asked for it and he stayed connected to her at the same time. And the third way he did it was he understood the difference within himself between discomfort and danger. And that third one was a game changer for him because when he realized this is discomfort, this is discomfort, this is not danger, this is not danger, it brought him into a much calmer, relaxed place with himself. And he stopped hinging his safety on how he could make her feel safe. So it's from a solid foundation of self-responsibility for your own safety as a man is where you now have greater resources and energy to give her that number one thing that she needs, which is safety. And I want to be clear, as you learn self-responsibility for your safety, you can encourage that in her as well because there's nothing more tormenting for a guy to feel like, her safety is 100% hinged on him. Feels like a burden. It feels uh, psychologically entwined and enmeshed. And uh, it just has a, an, an, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, a yucky feeling. So when you make yourself responsible for your safety, you're in a much stronger and more powerful position to help her feel safe and to show up in your relationship with confidence, boldness, and freedom. So I wanna encourage you to show up for my men's relationship tools calls. We're doing precisely this kind of work that I spoke to on this video. It's a free and confidential call. If you're the kind of guy who's uncertain about showing up to that kind of thing, feel free to show up with your video or audio muted. It happens Tuesdays, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. I'm gonna leave a link to the call below. So I hope this was helpful. Please leave a comment below, punch the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel to the lower right. Have a kick-ass day. Bye.